Hey everybody, it's a little dark. I'm in my Captain America gown. Let me just cover up so you didn't see my ugly belly. Really good news, I got two job interviews. I've been looking at uh, flats, little flats to, to move into. Uh, well, my older brother's in America right now and he's been living there for, um, for some time and he's gonna move back to the United Kingdom. And me and my older bro are planning to possibly move together and move out. This means we can get a two bedroom apartment instead of just a one bedroom which I would have to get on my own of course and I'll have like my own space to to film and do all kinds of stuff here is my kitty cat Spartacus Sparky Winkle look at the camera look at the camera say hey hey everybody so uh, you may be wondering why I'm like dressed up all nice and uh, fancy and that's because I've got a job interview for a full-time placement um, in a couple of hours uh, so that's pretty dang cool my dog is ever so casually just passed out on my bed and Rosie is still on my bed except now taking a more unconventional position so I had my job interview and all I can say to that is what a waste of time. So it was for a retail based job for full time because at the moment I just want to move out, live on my own and then build things from there and then have a lot more money coming in. And uh, they, they advertised as full time. And then one of the things is when I got there, it wasn't even full time. When they talked about the hours, it was like 15 hours plus. But in other news, um, I got the concept art for the RuneScape uh, live action short film, which I'm still working on. This is going to be about a 30 minute film, and um, it's RuneScape. So we're not just making a film, we're making a film that is completely not real. So that requires further costume, um, exotic locations, CGI visual effects, um, sound design, and a lot. This means I need to create a fan page and I need to go and get it lots of publicity. I want about 300,000 uh, likes plus before I even consider make uh, going live on the uh, the campaign. So uh, that's kind of the goal. Um, that way we kind of securely set ourselves up for, um, for getting funded properly and then we can make a RuneScape film without relying on the big companies to do it because here's the thing we all want to see our favorite product be made into a live action film but sometimes it's just not a smart business move we can now uh, use facilities that are open source such as kickstarter indiegogo and the crowd can now decide and pick a um film director slash film company and say yes we are going to give you money to make that film that the companies wouldn't so now if one person thinks it's a good idea to, fit, to make a film and he can convince others to think it's a good idea to hey we can make films so uh, that's what i want to do runescape has been my favorite game for years and years and years and i love film as well and i just want to create a beautiful fantasy adventure film but we have a long way to go and we have more work to do, concept art and CGI and whatever else. But we will get there, my friends. But I also got some other really, really good news. So uh, I have been talking to uh, two of my CGI friends. Um, one of them is doing the CGI for a particular video to come, which is waterbending in real life. I will reveal it now. And then I got talking to uh, my other CGI friend. He was also really cool and I also found out that he's making a really good um, car model which is going to be rendered in V-Ray which they used to render one of the Transformers movies I believe and he's going to give it to me for free because I got a film that needs a CGI car and then also his friend who does CGI uh, really liked, uh, I, 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 I was transferred to him and then he really liked my stuff and he's going to make me a dragon for a particular short film that's going to be out sometime and also he's going to make the CG dragon for the RuneScape film as well. So now it is time to respawn the people. I want to shout out Dolphin Phobia and he said awesome vlog and best of luck with your channel and keep it up and I just want to say a huge thanks for uh, interacting with my content. To finish up the vlog um, it is Thursday and so it's going to come out tomorrow. So I'm going to talk about hate. Hate is a really really amusing thing. My advice is, oh I better not say this because I'll give away my secrets, 
But if you don't want to help someone and you want to drag them down, stay clear of the video. Just stay completely clear of the video. It's kind of tough to do because uh, there's a million channels that I don't think deserve um, their place and uh, the viewership they got, but I stay clear of them. I just don't watch the video. I don't engage with it. So at the moment, I am running into uh, a little bit of stress. I was gonna say it's an issue, but it's really not because they're actually helping me, but it's a little bit stressful just because um, who likes hate, you know? So I got this, uh, this little army of people disliking my stuff and commenting horrible things. That's fine, you guys are helping me. What YouTube have done is they've removed the, uh, the effectiveness of likes and dislikes. First of all, they're just added up. So YouTube adds up uh, likes and dislikes and sees it as feedback. And to be honest with you, I'll be the first to admit it. My videos that have come out are not that great. At the moment you're experiencing me as a filmmaker about a year ago, I made a year worth of films and uh, I, I, I know they're just not the best videos in the world, but they start to get a lot better. And to be honest with you, I go by personal happiness. If I'm happy with the film, that's all I care about. At the moment, I'm not all too happy with the films that have came out because um, a lot was compromised, I was in college. There's, there's just many reasons just why they weren't that great. I am happy with not going that big with them because they're just not that good. But the ones that are gonna come, I feel really strongly about and I'm really, really happy about a lot of them, and I think they'll go big. These films are not an exploration in terms of filmmaking for me. This is a journey. So with that being said, that's gonna be about it for this video. Uh, feel free to drop a comment, tell me what you think. If you have a question, you can always drop me a comment in the comment section below. You can personal message me on YouTube, you can catch me on Twitter, tweet at me at, at Henry underscore Hodge. You can go to my Facebook, send me a personal message, or you can go to my Google Plus page. There's about a million ways to uh, contact me in the, the world we live in today. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and I will see you next vlog.